Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about how much would it cost me to buy horses in the star stable that I want. I saw a few people do this type of video, but it was for all horses in the game. Like, buying Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, all together it would cost like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, whatever. I don't want all horses in the game, so I thought what if I just took my wish list of horses that I want, which is about 60 horses, and then, you know, type all the numbers in and then find out how much the horses cost you know, with discounts, without discounts, whatever. So let's get into it. The first few horses are 750 star coins. So that is one, two, three, four horses. That's four horses. Okay. That's already 3000 star coins. Now for the American paint horses and for a lot of other horses, those are also 850. So that is 21 horses that are 850. So 850 times 21 is 17,850. So 17,850 plus 3,000 is 20,850. Okay, now we have horses on my list that are 900 star coins. Now we have a bunch of horses that are 950. So, so 24 horses that are 950. So 24 times 950 is 22,800. So we're just going to add that to the 26 250 we are at 49,000 star coins anyway so lastly we have yorvik wild horse that are 975 i have so 975 times the one two three four five horses that i want is 4875 yorvik shillings star coins i mean star coins so four eight seven five that is a total of 53 925 star coins. Okay, now let's go look at star coin prices. So let's do double star coins first. If I wanted to get all these horses, it would cost me. Well, I forgot the prices of star coins went up. Wow, okay, never mind. So basically, if I wanted the star coins to get the all the horses I want. That's going to cost 55,000 star coins. So that would actually be five 10,000 star coin packages. So we're going to add that up first. That'd be 69.99 times five is $349.95. Plus, we're going to need the 4,000 star coin package as well because we have the 3,095 because we still have the 3,925 star coins for the other horses too, you know, so we're going to add the 48 USD. 97.95. Yeah, so that's kind of a lot. But if it wasn't on discount day, this would cost, let's times by two because Star Stable, you know, doubles it. So times by two. This would cost 700 $95 and nine ninety cents. That's kind of a lot, which I don't even know if Star Stable does tax. I don't think they do, but wow, that's kind of, it's kind of a lot. Yeah. So that's what it would cost if you didn't do the double Star Coin offer. And if you were to wait for discounts, then we could assume, like, I think it would be, like, 40% off, right? During discounts, Star Stable usually takes off 40%. Obviously, it's not off of all horses, you know, because you have to wait for each horse breed to go on sale. But let's say you did wait, you know, that would be 53925 Let's take the 40% off. Then it would be... 32,355. So that would actually only cost three double star coin packages, which would be $209.97. But of course, we have the star coins we'd also have to buy, which I would personally take the 4,000 option because, you know, we need the 2,355. So we'll add the 48 
So it'd be $257.97. But if you didn't do Double Star Coin Weekend, then it would still cost $515.94. And yeah, that is kind of a lot. But let's say you want it to save your star coins for all these horses, then that would be a total of, well, we'd have to take 53, 925, and divide it by 100 because we get 100 star coins per week. That would be 540, pretty much, weeks of waiting. 540 weeks of waiting would be 10 years, pretty much. Yeah, that'd be a long time. So, yeah, in case you didn't know, there's 52 weeks in a year, I'm pretty sure, and 100 times 52 is 5,200 star coins per year. So, yeah, you really do have to save to get horses in Star Stable. Obviously, you don't need every horse, but it's hard to not want every horse, and although I don't want every horse, there are still horses that I want that are really pretty, and also... You can't really tell people, just don't buy horses, because, like, you know, it's a horse game, and people love horses, so of course they'll want it, you know? Like, some people, they love horses, some people love dogs, some people love books, some people love video games. It's hard to avoid buying what you love. And although we could find ways to save star coins, you know, because I would love to save star coins. I don't buy star I stopped buying star coins, actually. I quit buying star coins because I don't have... I don't see the worth in it. Like, I don't have the money to, obviously, but also I don't have the worth in it. You know, like, when you buy Star Coins, you're buying more horses for what? Like, I don't have that much fun in the game, so I don't think it's worth $60 or $70 for the Star Coins every month. I really don't think it's worth it to keep buying double Star Coins or regular Star Coins. I just don't find it really worth it because, like, all I do is train. I much rather just discount you know, wait for discounts and just save my star coins until a discount day because it's not worth it for me to keep buying star coins and buying horses when I could just wait because, like, now if you were like me in the past, you wouldn't think like this. When I first joined Star Stable, when I wanted horses, I wanted those horses. Like, literally, I couldn't wait for the next horse. I wanted horses so badly, I would save up for double star coins and then I would get 10 horses every single time I got double star coins and that was what I did because each horse to me I gave it a meaning I role-played I wrote fan fiction I did the quests I was completely immersed into the world of star stable I loved everything about the game and even if I had no quests I would still make my own fun by making fan fiction my and by role-playing I would take my horses oh my god I would schedule days where I'd ride horses like I would literally make plans on what days to ride horses, what days to compete horses, which days to care for them. Like, I made it like a schedule. I would go to the stable in real life and then come back home and go to my digital horse stable in the game. Like, that was how I lived. These days, I don't do that anymore. So, I don't really see the point because I don't do fan fiction. I don't do a lot of things anymore. I just train. And for me, spending money on horses isn't worth it anymore because I'm just training. I don't think the horses are worth that much money if all I do is train. If I did fan fiction, if I did role play, if I did all these incredible things that kept me happy in the past, I would probably still pay that much, but I don't do it anymore because it's not worth it for me. So yeah, this is just how much it would cost if I wanted to get all the horses together at once or whatever, or you know, over time, but yeah. I hope you had fun watching the video. Bye!